Friday, September uh, 30th, 2016. Monaco 64 here, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. Uh, so we've had a pretty uh, topsy-turvy market the last two days. Yesterday, the Dow finished down about 190 points on news that uh, Deutsche Bank uh, hedge fund clients were withdrawing funds. Today, early, early on European time, uh, I made a report and Deutsche Bank was uh, down in Europe, broke through 10 euros. Uh, all the other major European banks were down as well. The Dow was down about 40 points. So things weren't looking too good. And um, then we heard uh, rumors come out that the um, Department of Justice in the U.S. had come to an agreement with Deutsche Bank and that the original uh, fine they announced uh, earlier, like about, well, a few weeks ago, uh, of $14 billion dollars, was going to be uh, nego negotiated down to about $5 billion, but we actually haven't seen the Department of Justice confirm this. And on the back of that, um, all the stocks, um, stock market rose. Uh, Dow finished up about 160, so still down 30 points from uh, Wednesday's close, I guess. Uh, of course, Deutsche Bank rallied strongly uh, in Europe, Deutsche Bank finished up, uh, let's see, on the day, we finished at 11 euros, around 11 euros 56, or up 6%. We had traded as low as 9 euros 75. And um, someone like uh, made a comment on my previous video, and they said, well, the only reason Deutsche Bank is crashing is because... Um, the Department of Justice had uh, put this 14 billion fine and now you know they, they've cut it to five even though we don't know but you know looking at the Deutsche Bank stock from the beginning of the year uh, it started at 22 euros when the uh, fine was announced by the Department of Justice it was trading uh, around 13 euros a Deutsche Bank, so it was already down 40%. So, and Deutsche Bank has been going, going down, you know, months before that. So I don't think it's just because of uh, Department of Justice that Deutsche Bank is in trouble. It's in trouble because it's highly leveraged. It has a huge uh, derivatives book uh, and investors don't feel confident about the bank. So, um, yeah, that's that's the story so far, and uh, I'd like to uh, look at the uh, month of September and how um, different asset classes and currencies did, just to keep the bigger picture uh, in mind of the markets. So the Dow Jones ended August at eighteen thousand four hundred. And we closed this month at 18,308. So it was down half a percent. Mm, nothing dramatic. That's not much. S&P was down only uh, one eighth of a percent or 0.125 percent. So uh, virtually unchanged. Uh, gold taking the PM fix in London, LBMA. And the reason I take that level, even though I, I think the LBMA is also manipulated, but it's a physical market, and I think it's less manipulated than COMEX. So the PM fix on the 31st of August was 1309.25, and today the PM fix was 1322 uh, and a half. So gold is up 1% on in the month of September. Uh, Earlier this month, I was quite positive. I thought we'd have a good month. Uh, it hasn't been that great, but it's still up 1%. Silver, it was up 3.25%, taking the, the fix in the LBMA. It closed, the fix on the 31st of August was 1874, and today the fix was 1935. 
So up three and a quarter percent for the month. Deutsche Bank uh, start, uh, finished August at 13 euros 20 and finished September today at 11.67. Though, so down 11.6 percent. Uh, so that gives you an idea where we are really. Uh, it takes out all this noise up and down. Uh, for my UK viewers, gold in pounds finished August at 999 spot 351. Uh, that was the fix LBMA. And today the fix was 1018 spot 457. So that's up 1.91% on the month. Silver uh, was up 4.6% in sterling terms on the month. And the FTSE 100 index did quite well. It was up 1.7%. Still underperforming gold and silver though. So what do I think of Deutsche Bank? And uh, what's happening, all the, you know, the rumors come out and the stock rallies, you know, double digits today. Uh, you know, after the European close in the U.S., the ADR or American depository rights did really well. So is everything fixed? Is the banking system fixed? I, I don't think so. You know, we've had eight years since the great financial crisis or eight and a half years and nothing has been fixed. The American banks have cleaned up uh, their books a little better but the European banks are still highly leveraged. Uh, OTC derivatives are still humongous uh, notional amounts in the hundreds of trillion, if not quadrillion. Uh, what else? Investment banks and commercial banks are still one and the same. So you have like Deutsche Bank, uh, you have RBS in the UK, they're using the commercial bank depositors' money to support their highly speculative investment bank activity. Um, in the U.S., it's the same thing. Um, the banks haven't been broken up. Uh, Glass-Steagall hasn't been reinstated. So nothing's fixed. Do you ever wonder why central banks can't raise rates from zero? You know, the Fed's been promising to raise rates for the last four years and they can't. So, yeah, a lot of people uh, are going to say, oh, uh, Monaco 64, you're like a broken record. You're saying this and this is nev never happens, but it will. Markets are not normal. Zero interest rates. Money printing is not normal. The economy uh the economies are, are not picking up. That's growing up. And the reason why government that's growing up is, you know, growing and the deficits are not shrinking is because the economies are not doing well enough to uh, so that the governments can get the tax revenue uh, to pay off, you know, to cover the deficit and start paying off the debt. So it's nowhere near that. So I don't think anything has changed. Of course, we're going into this uh, weekend now. Uh, as of tomorrow, the uh, U1 will be part of the SDR. We'll have to see if anything happens. Uh, you know, we have the so-called Shemitah, Super Shemitah, ending uh, Sunday and Monday because the the Jewish, you know, calendar starts on the sunset on, and then ends at the sunset. So the end of the year... And beginning of the year is over two days. So is is the world going to collapse? I don't think so. But uh, I don't think things have been fixed. Uh, I would still not hold too much cash if you've got too much cash in the bank. I wouldn't do that. I'd try to, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, start buying some physical gold or silver or pay off debt if you have debt. Uh, don't hold too much cash in the bank. Um, so there, that, that, that's what I think. Uh, Deutsche Bank is still in trouble. Um, I really think this, what we saw today, was a dead cap bounce. I think you know, players have piled in in the last few days. They've gone short massively, and uh, 
then this rumor comes out and you get a few a bit of short covering and then just they just pile in and the market goes up um, but the trend is still down you know we we started the year at 22 in 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 Deutsche Bank we're now at 11 11 and a half so yeah I think it's a dead cap bounce and Deutsche Bank this is not just a Deutsche Bank problem by the way it's a problem for all the big uh, international investment commercial banks of the world uh, of the Western world so that's it for now um, wish you a nice weekend I'll probably make some more videos over the weekend so if you enjoy my videos please like share and subscribe and if you'd like to donate uh, there's some links in the description below uh, for uh, Bitcoin for uh, PayPal and Patreon take care bye